Hey guys, one of my favorite things about Young Living products is the fact that you can stretch them out. Um, so I should have wrote the date on here, but I didn't. Usually I write the date so I can see how long they last. Um, but this bottle of dish soap is really concentrated. So if you're not diluting your dish soap, you're wasting a lot of money. You can stretch this out for a very long time. So what I like to do is I always have glass pumps. It doesn't have to be glass, but I, a foaming pump is crucial to making your products last. So what you're going to want to do is you're always going to want to fill it up a quarter of the way with water, or excuse me, a quarter of the way with Castile soap, and then the um, a quarter of the way... Um, the second quarter of the way with dish soap. So then it's half full. You're going to put probably, probably, I would say like 10 drops of lemon essential oil. This is a natural degreaser. And then, um, this is my Castile soap that I use. It's a gallon. I get it for 26 bucks. Um, it's the best buy doesn't have any fragrance um, and it's bulknaturaloils.com that's where I order it from so it's a really good price and just keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last a very long time um, I make my own I stretch out all the soaps the hand soaps the dish soaps all the products pretty much so real quick here we go oh you want to get a funnel just so you don't spill. Are we still going there? Yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. This is um, pretty much the rest of that. It's gonna be my first quarter. Um, and I like to add water just to get all the residual out. There's a lot of residual um, soap in there. Because I am a penny pincher, I'll show you another little trick I'm going to do. So I'm going to hang on to this. I went ahead and I got all of it out. Got my quarter of the way filled. Gonna do my other quarter, my second quarter, with my Castile. And another thing you could use, you don't have to, but another thing you can use is um, vegetable glycerin. That's another one I buy in bulk, and it just works as like a humectant. It kind of keeps everything together. So this is a uh, pure vegetable glycerin. So I'll go ahead and put like a tablespoon, and I eyeball it. It's not really going to hurt it if you put more or less. So that's... Probably use two tablespoons actually and this is what stretches out your product just make sure you go on to I suggest going to bulknaturaloils.com for your Castile and I don't know I don't know if you can get your glycerin on there but I would recommend it if you can when I run out I will check and see if that's on there I think I got this one on Amazon though and those two items along with water, help stretch out your products. Okay, so let's do our 10 drops of lemon. A 
always wipe off the residual. Ah, it smells so good. Okay, so now with the water, now that it's halfway full, I'm gonna fill the rest up with water, remember? But I'm gonna fill this up with water and then pour it in there. That way, if there's anything left in here, I get it all out. And then um, I also hang on to these bottles because when you get other um, bottles uh, and like the laundry ones, you can take these stickers off. They just come right off and you can stick them right onto your product so it looks all professional. Like if I give my friends that um, join Le Young Living, if I give them like a little welcome gift, I'll, I'll make them their own little bottles like that and I'll put the, the stickers on it so it looks professional. Okay, so I'm going to add my water. residual out of there and then always remember to leave room for that pump that part so I could add a little bit more a little bit more okay and that is our dish soap. And I do the same thing with hand soap because they have a Thebes um, refill, hand soap refill. I do the same thing. I add the Castile, whatever product it is, whether it be hand soap, dish soap, and then whatever I'm feeling like, I'll add oil. I'll add like a Thebes if maybe there's sicknesses going around um, or, you know, lemon or, or tangerine, whatever I'm feeling like, oops. So you're going to want to shake it, hold the hole so it doesn't spill out. You can see it all, it's all mixed up together. And every once in a while, like, you'll have to give it a little shake because you'll see that it's all kind of separating. But that's why we use the vegetable glycerin. That kind of keeps it all together. So there we have our dish soap. That's what I'll do since I have a dish soap sticker made out of my little um, pea touch. I'll take this dish soap sticker off and I'll put it on here. I'll actually do that right now for the video. That'll be great, huh? First, I want to show you how my soap turned out. It's going to be perfect foam. You ready for this? Okay. Gotta shake it up more. There you go. There's your foam. Perfect foam. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna go professional on ya and I'm gonna put the sticker on, so hold on just a second. There we go. Look at that, magic, right before your eyes. So I just, like I said, it's real easy. Young Living makes the stickers so easy to come right off the products. I took it right off of the dish soap and I just slapped it right on there and I did put a little bit of packing tape on there to just kind of help it stay on. But, um, yeah, so now you look all professional. So that's it for my video. I think this is a pretty long video for making soap, but I had fun. I hope you had fun watching. Check out my other videos. Remember to hit the like button. See you guys later. Bye.